Hi, my name is Harry. I like making silly 3D models. This time I'm making Minecraft Steve into a real life model in a cave system mining diamonds. I started off with a sketch, but I'm no good at drawing, so I'd scrap that. Maybe this will do actually, we'll work with this. I had all the references I needed and all I had to do is make Steve into a human form but him having a cube face. To make this start, I added a cube and I started blocking out the whole body, starting with the head and making the way down to the arms and the body and the legs. I also added blocks for the fingers because this made it a lot easier to do the sculpting later on. Instead of adding other bits to the model, like sculpting over and over again, I just sculpted over the shape that I already have and it makes it a lot easier. With the blocking complete, it was now to start on the face. Of course, I don't want the face to be 100% a cube, so I started with getting rid of those shapes and those sharp edges and then I started making the face. Adding some details like the cheek, chin and nose made it look more like a face instead of it being a flat surface. I also added some eyelids to get the overall shape of the eye socket and I thought it came out pretty well as well. At the minute, Steve is looking more like handsome Squidward. Uh, that's not a good thing. With those changes to be made later, I'm going to start on the shirt. By tidying up the model so I don't have any sharp edges, I added folds and creases to the mesh so to make it look more like a shirt. To create these effects, I used some tools like the crease brush and also the clay brush. So this just made that I could have different types of edges and also make more indents into the fabric or whatever surface that you're using. With the shirt pretty much complete, I had to make some changes to the arms as well. Arms and hands I always struggle with, but overall I think the shape of this was actually pretty good. It looks like Steve has been hitting the gym recently, or if it's been all of that mining he's been doing. Although at the minute it looks a little bit silly, but I think later on it will definitely fill out a little bit more as well. I need to add some more details into the muscles and also veins and everything like that. At this point, I wanted to add some textures to my model, so I wanted to just make sure that my work so far isn't pointless. By adding the skin texture and also some real hair to the model, it really did fill out the overall creepiness and how crazy this actually looks. I did tell you at the start I make silly models, so don't get mad at me if it looks completely different than what you thought. For the skin texture, I use something very simple and that was a noise texture that I was used at high value to make fake indents in the skin. This made it a lot easier because we're going into that point where I'm making the armature that is going to be bones so I can actually move the model around and pose it into a pickaxe mining shape later. While I spent most of my time figuring out how to make this armature work, the left side of my brain was actually thinking about making a pickaxe. And with just two simple models and a little bit of sculpting, I made this so far and also added some textures to give it some realism. At the minute, I'm pretty sure this the realistic thing I've made so far. As you saw my drawing at the start of the video is going to have Steve standing on a platform mining diamonds and I thought that looked pretty good so that's what I did. I added a platform and a little bit of sculpting to the platform. I added a texture, gave it a displacement and it looked very realistic and I thought this definitely sold the more realism of this shot. I was very happy with this creation because it was probably the easiest thing that I've actually done so far. For the final thing, I added some lighting to make the scene more exciting and also finish up the minor details like the hole in the wall and also diamonds and little small rocks around the place. Also, if you see a bit closely, there is some water underneath the rocks. Finally, the scene is complete and I think it's a good time to show off the cinematic shots. Overall, I was very happy with this creation. It did take me a very long time to finish this, but there's definitely some things that I can make different in the future. Hopefully I can visit back this and make it all over again. Like I'm changed the face up a little bit, also add some custom textures instead of using the nodes. I would add like painting details and also different colors. But overall that comes down to practice and also consistency. So hopefully over the time, I'll be able to do something better in the future. Let me know what you think and as well, leave your comments down below what I should make next and please subscribe.